Hi guys, so this tutorial is kind of all over the place today. So I made this prosthetic and I really wanted to wear it, but it never turned out right. So this is the footage of me trying to figure out how to make this work. It wouldn't blend in, but then again, I'm new to one, making, and two, applying, and three, trying to blend out prosthetics. So this was a trial and error for me, and I will learn more later to come. So I tried grease paints first, and then this is me trying water-based paints. And it really wasn't blending as well as I wanted it to. I guess I should have made a whole cheek piece as well. This is me getting agitated. And there's no getting over this freaking line. Okay. We're taking it off and we're gonna start over. Yep, taking it off. I tried. It's cute, but it's not what I'm going for. So trying again. So I already have my foundation on and my eyebrows blocked out and concealed and covered and everything because the half, the rest of this is going over a James Charles tutorial as my backup, which I've been looking at different ones for a while for a bunny makeup. And this is the only one that I really liked. So I'm just taking basically all Jeffree Star products. Um, the white is Weirdo Liquid Lipstick, and this pink is Diva, so it's kind of a large drag eye look. Um, and honestly, you probably can just follow the tutorial without me saying anything, because it's pretty self-explanatory, and if it doesn't do- if I don't do a good enough job, James Charles definitely does. So... Basically, you're just doing winged liner. Um, this pink is kind of the eyebrow of the bunny eye. Um, yeah. So after I have Diva all in place how I want it, I'm just gonna set it with some BH Cosmetics powder. Um, these are some of the pinks that I mixed together to try to get it a nice shade. Um, this is from the Take Me to Brazil palette. And you want to make sure you said that even though they are a matte lipstick, it's better safe than sorry. And I'm just going to go back and redefine that white underneath. Um, really, it's all about going back and forth, defining lines, um, filling in lines, and making sure everything is set properly. I'm just taking a brown shadow to give that definition and do some liner. I made the liner all the way to the top like the tutorial said to do. At first I was kind of like why but then it turned out really good. And then I'm just taking this sparkly uh, liquid shadow just to give me some more glitter. And then we're going to fur out the bottom white liner. And then this is where we decide where we want the face piece to be, I guess. Hey, Brindle. Um, I didn't like how it was turning out the first time, so you're gonna see that I just went in 
with Weirdo on a brush and completely just mm, went ham on the middle. This might be easier if you had like a white eyeliner or anything. I was going to use water activated paints for this, but it was raining this day and I was going to be outside going in from my job. Didn't want to risk ruining and everything, so this is where I'm taking Weirdo and just basically just outlining a circle and filling it in. And then I'm just adding some flicks to make it more realistic. Make sure you blend in that harsh line that you have for the circle into your flicks. Um, if you have an off-white, I would suggest using that. That way it has more dimension. I used a NYX matte uh, lipstick, I believe. And it kind of had a different shade to it than the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. So I would highly suggest that. And next I'm taking Diva and I'm going to draw on my cute rabbit nose. Um, skull noses are the hardest for me so this was kind of a piece of cake. And it's really just painting the very tip of your nose and then all underneath. So it wasn't too hard. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do that line to connect my nose to my mouth and we're gonna color in that top lip as well So right here, I'm just taking the Take Me to Brazil palette again, and I'm setting that pink. I didn't want the white and the pink to blend together, and this really, really helps to go ahead and just set that. That way, nothing happens, and I don't have to do an extra step that I've already done. So I'm setting my nose, and I'm setting my upper lip with the pink, and then I'm taking the lightest pink in the palette just to kind of give my nose a shimmery highlight. And that's the finished look. Thanks for watching.